Hi, I'm Rob Telson, Vice President of Worldwide Sales and Marketing at Brainship. Thank you for joining us today here at Edge Computing World's Demo Shootout. We're going to take some time, talk about Brainship, and talk about our chip, Akita. So first of all, Brainship is the leader in neuromorphic artificial intelligence. Our core product, as I highlighted before, is Akita. And it mimics the human brain's architecture, resulting in a revolutionary neuromorphic computing solution that enables a new generation of AI at the edge, the next generation. Brainship addresses the ultra low power and performance requirements of edge-based devices. We focus on smart automotive applications, smart city, smart health, and smart home. And we process in the microwatts to milliwatts. I'm gonna emphasize that. And Akita is that ultra low power solution. Again, power consumption is in the microwatts to milliwatts with a configurable and scalable architecture. But most importantly, it's our on-device learning without depending on the cloud, which leads to device personalization, which enables multiple applications to address many solutions. So today let's talk about smart automotive and some use cases. There's the intelligent cockpit and body applications, there's ADAS, and there's vehicle motion and energy. But for today, we're focused on the intelligent cockpit and body. And we're gonna demonstrate Akita with in-cabin monitoring, digital assistant, and facial recognition. So this demonstration is gonna show you three networks that are running simultaneously, facial identification and facial recognition, keyword spotting with voice matching, person and no person detection, an on-device edge-based learning with facial identification in multiple subjects, and on-device personalization with voice matching. Those voices were trained into a data set so Akita can recognize them. And all of these demos are running on the Akita hardware. So here we are for the in-cabin experience. And, and leveraging the smart automotive philosophy, on the gray screen, you have the Akita face recognition screen, where we're gonna have someone come into the screen that's gonna recognize who it is. In the center, you have the keyword spotting, and it's gonna recognize its voice. And on the blue side, you have the visual wake, where it's gonna recognize that someone is in the cabin. Let's take a look. Hey, Akita. Aaron, all systems active. Hey, Akita. Todd, all systems active. The amazing thing about this demonstration are the results. For the person detection model, we use MobileNet V1. The power consumed was only eight milliwatts. For the facial identification model, we used mobile FaceNet. The power consumed 22.6 milliwatts. And for keyword spotting, we use the KWS network. The power consumed 600 microwatts. So in summary, what we really want to emphasize is that traditional AI is compute intensive and its solutions are not for the future of smart automotive solutions. There's too much irrelevant data which is being processed, which consumes way too much power. And there's too many dollars being spent in the wrong areas. The key is not to process more data faster. The key is to process the relevant data efficiently and accurately. So neuromorphic computing is the next generation of AI and processing the most relevant data smarter, faster, and most economical. Brainship is the first to market. We are leading the way with an ultra low power solution with on-device training for device personalization. So if there are any questions, you can contact us at www.brainship.com. You can follow us at YouTube at Brainship Inc. or at LinkedIn at Brainship Holdings or Twitter at Brainship underscore Inc. We look forward to hearing from, me, from you and thank you very much for letting us participate in the demo shootout.